absolutely critical and you need to prioritize what things need to protection now and what things need to be protected in the future. And you need to take these risks seriously and begin to develop plans. So you need to ask some questions. You need to ask about what application security measures are in place, either with your IT department or with your hosting company or with your application developers. You need to ask also if the applications are scanned for vulnerabilities as described in this presentation. That could potentially be using a third-party penetration con testing and consulting uh, or package service, or it could be um, using in-house uh, software purchases. Whatever the, the case may be, is there a method in place to test these applications that you have for the common vulnerabilities that exist out there? and find out who's responsible for fixing any of, these, any of these security issues. Is it within the sole responsibility of your department or your organization? Is it a vendor? Is it a client or a, rather an a, a application developer that has custom built your application for yourself? Understand who is going to undertake any type of emergency or remediative activity. And ask what type of plans are in place not only for catastrophic failure but also in the place in the in case of uh, security breaches and security uh, remediation tasks that are going to have to occur on an emergency basis. If there is no plan in place, often your site could be down for days. And for instance, if it has been hacked and it does wind up on Google Stop Badware site, there is a very specific process that a website owner needs to undertake in order to have their website removed from this. And that can take days, sometimes weeks. So gaining knowledge is clearly important. Staying up to date on web, and app, web application and security issues. So I encourage everyone to go to xss.com, oasp.org, webappsec.org, any security related websites when it comes to web application security and understand what's happening in the space presently and where the trends are headed. A good way to start also is to subscribe to our Cybersecurity Informer newsletter. This sends out a weekly message about uh, websites that have been compromised. It also talks about various security issues and various trends that are happening within the cybersecurity space. Keep track of your web application information as well. All the information that you've collected, as I described in the previous slides, as well as passwords, any issues, patches, access methods, updates, or any goals or plans, make sure that this is all kept in some sort of comprehensive file somewhere that is secure that you can refer to and adjust so that you have a consistent working document and plan for your IT or uh, web application security. So with all of this information, you can make a plan. You, can, you will know the risks, uh, and you'll be able to then use these uh, bits of information that you've collected to be able to conduct a cohesive, uh, actionable plan to scan and audit the record, the results of your web security audits, and be able to schedule and plan the fixes that are required in advance of a security be breach. You can also develop a good series of uh, actionable items to deal with a security breach and how to manage it quickly and resolve the problem quickly. And finally, you can also uh, use uh, this plan to build an overarching web application security plan that will cover uh, implementation, delivery criteria, user access, what evaluation tools you plan to use, and to be able to track the progress of the security activities that you plan to undertake. It's important to develop this plan. Um, you can do this on your own if you have the resources. You can do it and compile the research. And of course, you can also um, procure knowledge and services of other companies and uh, bundled services that can expedite this process for you and get you an actionable um, working plan and full knowledge of your web application security in short order, particularly if you do not have the internal resources to, to put this together quickly. So the alternative, obviously, is to do nothing. 